We say that necessity is the mother of invention, but we want to invent new things using our same old ways. We want to innovate without recognizing that innovating ends with I-N-G. To say that I want to walk is not the same as actually walking. To say that I want to run is not the same as actually running. To say that I want to innovate is not the same as actually innovating. To innovate, I cannot stay in one place. I have to move. I have to change. I have to climb steep slopes and mountains. I have to look closely sometimes, dissect and analyze, and other times I have to put the world beneath my feet or on top of my head to see the bigger picture. To innovate, I have to move, I have to change. But that does not mean that where I am has no value. This place is full of knowledge that years have designed. But this place is too comfortable, too safe, too familiar. And it seems that the world around me is changing and it's too scary to leave this place. But what if I took from this place what could help me feel home as I move? The lessons I've learned, the experiences I've gathered, the human I've become. What if I took things step by step? What if I stopped and reflected on new things that come my way? What if I connected what's new with what I already know? You see, in this place of me, this bubble of me, there's an invisible mirror that always reminds me of me. What if I change this mirror to a window? Magic can happen because I don't just see myself, my stories, my experiences, I start seeing the world, someone else with a story, an experience, a lesson to teach me, and another person who's afraid to leave their place too, and another person who feels that the weight of the world is way too heavy too. So what if I extended my hand to tell someone else me too? What if I allowed my eyes to actually see what I am looking at? to actually understand the place of someone else? What if I shared my place with someone else and they shared theirs with me? What if we grew together? What if we changed together? What if we carried this weight together, took this risk together? What if we innovated together? This what if is a blessing and a curse because I can say, what if I fail? So, what if I fail? I will learn. At least I will know that the, what doesn't work can change. What if I fall down? I will get back up, and the strength I gain to stand back up will make me better. What if I stumble? I will become resilient. What if I break? I will rebuild myself. What if I fail? I will have a story to tell. I will have someone to inspire. I will have someone to lead by example. The teacher next door, across the hall, or downstairs. The student who's afraid to fall, too. The student who's afraid of leaving their own space, too. Or the student who feels all alone. Because to truly teach, I must not only look at, but also see who I am teaching. The humans that I am teaching. And to include all of these humans, I may have to take a few steps back to the place where they are so we can walk together, lift this weight together, learn together, change together, evolve together so that we may innovate together. Thank you.